It was home sweet home this week as four of Brampton's firefighters returned from New York after last week's terrorist attacks. And as First Local's Joanna Sharp tells us, being a part of the rescue efforts across the border was an experience they will never forget. These four Brampton firefighters may have just wanted to help, but after returning from the rescue efforts in New York, Brian Gorman, Rob Morrison, Neil Kennedy, and Scott Walker are being hailed as heroes. As mayor, I'm very, very proud of, uh, of these four men, as I'm very proud of our Brampton Fire Service overall. Uh, what this shows the public clearly is uh, there's more to firefighting than just fighting fires. There's a, a bond and there's a loyalty. The four men arrived in New York last Wednesday morning, just 24 hours after the first plane crashed into the North Tower of the World Trade Center. And as a result, there was a lot of chaos and they were doing everything possible to help in the rescue efforts. We're in there just on hands and knees passing rubble along. Anything as small as uh, a pound rock to uh, clothing, uh, files. Uh, you see pictures lying around of, of loved ones. Um, you know, you're moving steel doors, you're, mo you're moving computers, crushed computer parts, everything. You just, you got to get it out of there because we got to get in there and try and get a recovery, you know, a rescue in there. All four firefighters discussed the difficulties of seeing so many people who had lost their loved ones and also the hard of knowing that over 300 rescue workers were missing or had died in the attack. Although the 5,000 people lost is, is very, very, um, a very hard number to accept, but you know, I so said we don't, but just seeing those, those people that lost so many so close to us, it, it was uh, probably the, the most difficult part of the whole experience. But in the midst of such tragedy, these firefighters were given some hope. They witnessed doctors revive an injured woman and had the opportunity to shake hands with President George W. Bush, who thanked them for traveling so far to help their fellow colleagues. In Brampton, I'm Joanna Sharp, First Local.